Who is this right here? Who is this? Come on, I look way cuter from the last video. Um, anyways, welcome to the new video, guys. I clearly cut my hair last night. Uh, just randomly, I was like, just I'm just gonna give her. And I started going off, and it actually doesn't look that bad. Like, I did this all by myself. It was like, my hair was like this long. Like, I could pull it out to here. And then I did this, and it took me like 30 minutes. So, pretty happy with that. Anyway, we are about to head over to Kyle's. Um, we're going to go in the hot tub, have some fun, um, and just talk and chat because there's a few things that, like me and Kyle both do coaching, there's a few things we have in common that we want to talk about, and also just talk about the prep for nationals because we're going to be doing that. So without further ado, let's just get there, and then we will talk more, and then we will be hitting training together. It's going to be a big session for the both of us, so let's go. Why did you guys fall? I'm so disappointed in you. Good. This okay. is your. All right, guys. So we just finished up our hot tub time. It was very nice. I've never been in Kyle's hot tub, but that was my first time. Good job, man. Nice hot tub. <laughs> Best hot tub. Okay, so we're about to be talking about like our expectations for this prep because when you are watching this video, we are going to be 12 weeks out from our like first nationals in two years because Canada is kind of weird. I'm going to explain that situation. Um, but right now we're going to cut to the training that we will be doing tomorrow where Kyle's squatting something really big and I'm like Hopefully. squatting. <laughs> you will. Yeah. And then I'll squat something somewhat big. So let's cut to that now. Ready? Three, two, one, boom. Remember back in the day when you taught me to live and I taught you to pray We went in the battle together, no matter the weather, we never delayed You gave me commands, I always obeyed, I never let you go astray I never thought I'd see the day that you would come and just betray me Sick of playing silly games, you never loved me anyway You should not have let me get away, cause now I'm hunting for my prey I'm bigger, I'm better, my mind is a weapon, I won't ever let up You try to break me down and I'ma just get up, they ask me how I did it I'ma just tell them I rose up Survival. Survival. Fight for my life. Coming back stronger. I will arrive. I'm a survivor. Fight for my life. Coming back stronger. I will arrive. Staring at you from afar. Analyzing every scar. Asking myself how we got here Remember this is who we are I am not here for revenge I do not come to make amends Not here to repent for my sins I just came here to win I just came here to end I just came here to fight Show you everything you said I couldn't be I became overnight This for the blood, this is for the tears This is for my pain and my plight Two walked in, but only one of us is walking out of here tonight I'm a survivor for my life, coming back stronger. I will arrive. I'm a survivor. Fight for my life, coming back stronger. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that training montage. I hope it went well because we haven't done it yet. Um, <laughs> Carry on. We're making chicken strips, guys. Yeah, we're gonna have chicken strips. It's gonna be yummy. Yeah. Okay, so right now we're just gonna talk about the meat um, and the situation because right now we are in a weird situation where Kyle and I could either go to nationals or we could apply to go to worlds. Neither of us have won nationals, so we kind of feel like it would be a bit weird to go to the world, world stage already. <laughs> But um, we can just apply, and if they select us, we can go and um, represent Canada there. Yeah, like about that, the world situation, I feel like it's kind of weird, because like, I know, probably the same for Luke, but it was always my goal like, to win nationals first and then go to worlds. So I feel like just like going to worlds and like skipping that stuff would just be kind of like a weird, weird thing to do. Like, I, don't, I don't know. I feel like I haven't like earned it, if that makes sense. I always, my goal was to like win nationals and be on Team Canada and then go represent. Like, 
Canada out yeah, right? to kind of so, like earn your spot. Yeah. Um, because if you just show up at Worlds, like it's cool because like you're good enough to be there. But uh, it would obviously be like a you're skipping a step in our opinion, and I think yeah. most people's opinions. But um, yeah, we are still considering it because it is in South Africa, which would be a really cool place to travel to. But it's looking like we're both going to be doing nationals. I'm probably not even going to apply to Worlds. I don't know about you. I, mean, I think I'm still going to apply because I think I think it would be cool like, regardless. But yeah. it's also another factor is very expensive like to fly to South Africa, obviously, right? And yeah, and with think, like COVID and stuff, like the tickets yeah. are very expensive. But the reason we can't do both this year is because they are like right beside each other. So the people that win 2022 nationals will not be the people representing Canada at Worlds. It's kind of a bummer, to be honest. Yeah. That's kind of weird. Like that's yeah. why that's why nationals is a weird thing. Cause it's always like you try to win nationals to be on Team Canada, but you're kind of just like winning nationals, and that's the end of the road for 2022. So you kind of have to go defend it again in 2023, right? Yeah. So that's we no would. Problem. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> if you're the champion, it's no problem. Yeah. But um, yeah. So that'll probably be what we will do. We're just gonna show up at nationals and try and do our best. Okay. So now we're gonna talk about our expectations and our goals for the meet. Um, Kyle competed back in November. So he's going to have a lot more to compare to, whereas I haven't competed for two years, so there's a lot more that could happen, but I'm still confident in my abilities, but we'll let Kyle go first. So yeah, I competed back in November at the Central Canadian Championships, and I did pretty well. Like I, like I won the meet overall and stuff, but it's not obviously the same caliber as like nationals and worlds and that kind of stuff. Um, I had like a big PR total, which was... 740 kilos which is pretty good for me but i also left like a lot on the table and it's not even it's not even close to what i need like in order to like win nationals probably right so but yeah it was still good to get out there like, i hit a bunch of um national record squats here which is really sick like that was the main highlight of uh central so that was like a big yeah confidence booster but um outside of that like my bench and my deadlift like i was not really happy with my, my performance like uh bench i just shit the bed all together <laughs> but then um deadlifts like I went for a bit, I've been trying to have another deadlift for a long time, so like that was my biggest goal going into the competition, or one of the goals going into the competition. So I just went for that on my third, and I think it was a bit like out of reach for the day, and I just like messed up execution. So I left a lot off my total because of that. But yeah, so going into nationals, like I'm expecting to total something quite a bit more, because I need to, like there's a couple people in Canada that I'll be up against that have totaled quite a bit more than 740, so I have a lot of work to do, but I think we'll, we'll get there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Training's been going well, so uh, we just have to push hard for like these 12 weeks and things should be going well. Okay, so honestly, like me and Kyle, Kyle and I, we both want to win. Um, obviously, like that's always a goal, and if it's within range, like that's obviously like top priority. So in terms of like numbers, I don't really have anything that I'm thinking of, um, but because we're so far out from the meet, it would be really hard to guess what numbers I'll be hitting. Your screensaver to show them. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I literally do have numbers on my screensaver, but that that the numbers on my screensaver would make a crazy total. So if I hit those, like it's game over. Uh, but they're very high and they're probably a little bit out of reach. A goal for like nationals, like I said, I don't really know which numbers I'll be taking, whatever's there. But like the whole goal is to build a nice total to lead me to like the potential of winning the meet. Um, and it looks like seventy four guys are pretty stacked. So Luke's got. A yeah. bunch of competition, but I think um, if he puts it together. Um. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really, I think all of us are around the same strength and same with like Kyle. Um, I think like it's going to be a close battle for both of us, yeah. but it's more about who puts it together. Um, yeah. And that's just what we have to do. So yeah. we'll see how that goes. Now let's talk about maybe like the training plan because you guys know our goals. And maybe we'll talk more about how we're going to achieve them, like what you're going to focus on for like squat, bench, and deadlift, and like how, I mean, probably for you, mostly bench and deadlift, because you know that like, yeah, squats, squats going good, yeah. yeah, so like planning for the meet is like, obviously both of us have a coach too, like we both, we both are also coaches, we have like, we kind of like, have a lot of input on our own training, which is really cool, but we also have a fantastic coach, his name is Austin Ryan, he's the man, yeah. but um, basically like problems and stuff for me, trying to fix going to meet is definitely bench press is like by far what I'm behind the most in, and I feel like I've been making really good strides lately, but then, yeah, like a day or two ago was a bad bench day, but one, one day is not, not a huge deal. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so just trying to figure out, like, I've been messing around with a bunch, bunch of different grips, a bunch of different styles of benching and stuff like that, so I want to try to figure that out. That's the main thing going into the meet. I want to I hit a big bench PR. 
and I think that'll help me put together a nice total. Um, same thing with deadlifts. I think a lot of it is like like the hook grip. I think is can be really finicky, especially when you get like to your top end strength. So I think that's one of the biggest things I need to work at. Yeah. Um, like I think I've had the strength for a 320 kilo or 705 deadlift for like a while, but I I missed it on grip like a bunch of times. It was really frustrating. Yeah. So um, I want to have that figured out by the meet, and then hopefully hit even more than that. And yeah, I think squats have been going really good. So I just want to keep uh, keep grooving with what I'm doing with squats, and then hopefully we can put together a big total. Yeah. So for Kyle, I think his deadlift has been there for a while now. Like even in August in the summertime, he was he pulled like 310. And then, like from that point moving forward, he's hit like in those in that range for like pretty decent singles. It's just about like hook grip, and that's also another problem that like will present itself to me. It's more about channeling in like our mindset without just like grabbing the bar and ripping it off the floor. Because yeah. if you do that and you tear your thumb, it's pretty much over. Yeah. There's nothing you can do about that. So it's kind of about the execution of the hook grip without like getting too in our heads and too worked up because when you're lifting like your maximal attempt you're going to want to be in it we have to find that balance between technique and like aggression i feel like that's a big thing yeah and then so bench same problems as kyle i feel like i've had good bench blocks in the past my bench is not like the worst but it's definitely for me it's my worst lift so i think um implementing a few changes and just dialing in my training will um like yield some great results and then yeah, for squatting, me and Kyle are both pretty good at squatting and I think we're just gonna keep our training the same way it is. Um, we definitely are both hoping to take the lead after squat is done. And then if we both fix our benches, we're gonna be able to maintain that lead. Yeah. And then it just goes on to deadlift and come in clutch. But like we said, like if either of us messed up, like the people behind us would just take the spot. Like it's yeah. very. It's just about making attempts. Like we're not going to be so far ahead. That like we're going to have yeah. to just make sure whatever, take whatever's there, right? Like I think having specific numbers is what can really screw you at the end of the day, like at a meet. Because like that's what happened to me at Central. Like I just really wanted 320, so I just loaded it. And like realistically, I probably shouldn't have, right? So. Yeah, because that was a what? 20, 20 kilo yeah. jump from SFM. Yeah. yeah, so he so. lost a potential like 17 and a half kilogram. Like if he just loaded 317 maybe and yeah. executed better, yeah. he would have had like a much bigger total than he has now. And mm -hmm. if he does the same thing, and or if I do the same thing at Nationals, like we definitely lost. And like we might not, even, yeah. might not even, might not even podium. Like yeah. if, you, if you lose like 20 kilograms, or like 15 off of one lift it's pretty much over all right my friends we are gonna be ending off the video shortly I'm just gonna show you guys a package that I got in the mail it's from my sponsor rascal apparel they have man like they have the craziest stuff anytime you see me in a t-shirt and you're like Dan that's a cool t-shirt it's 100% from rascal apparel I'm gonna show you guys the package Whoa. so we got this package um, I get like a monthly package from them because they have like monthly drops and this one has a lot of swag in it they have a Canadian and an American site so if you are interested and you're Canadian or American or international you can go um, to the link in the description and I'll have Rascal Apparel so this is a stringer I think it says what is this one yeah the train heavy stringer I can't afford therapy. I think we can all relate to that in a way, but um, therapy is also important. Then we have the heavy metal tee. This one is like a big favorite of mine, and I love wearing black. I also love purple, so this this is a vibe right here. This one right here is one of my faves. This is the Friendly Neighborhood Creatine Dealer, which is uh, quite funny, and uh, yeah. I mean, creatine is actually at a halt, all-time high right now. If you're watching this video, if you were to go into the store and try and buy some creatine, it would be very, very expensive. So hit me up if you want creatine for the low low. Then we have this one in purple, which I love. This one is this isn't even my final form, and you see, you got the really jacked guy in that like. I don't even know what that thing is called, but you see those, that's where they put all the jacked people. And then this one has got to be probably one of the coolest, most unique pieces out of the whole drop. We got a live, or a long sleeve, I can't speak English, long sleeve, uh, your body on creatine. That's what it says up here. It's going to look beautiful. I'm going to try this one on and I'll actually wear this to the gym. So, one sec. Yeah, this is it. 
and I got it. Actually, it's pretty crazy. Your boy is wearing a size large. Fits me nice. I'm about 170 pounds right now, give or take. This fits me really nice, and I'm a big fan of it. Anyway, we are going to end off the video here. Another big week of training. More videos coming your way. I appreciate you guys a lot. Uh, the support has been unreal. Like, I keep saying that every video, but it just keeps getting better and better. Not even necessarily on YouTube, but on Instagram, TikTok, and now we are pushing YouTube a little bit harder, so hopefully we'll see some growth here too. I appreciate you guys, and I am going to be doing a little bit more um, for you guys, since you guys like watching my videos or something like that, which is pretty cool. Um, I really do appreciate it. Um, let's end off this video with a kiss.